What's up everybody, it's Eric Heaney TV. Today I'm at Six Flags New England and uh, this was just a last minute decision because I had nothing to do and I just wanted to ride Superman again because I was, you know, it's my favorite steel coaster, so. Yeah. So I actually went in the preferred parking lot today because my friend actually has a uh, preferred parking. So thanks to him, uh, we went in a really good parking spot, but I don't know if he wants to be on camera though. Want to be on camera. He does not want to be on camera, unfortunately, but hopefully later. All right, I just made it to Superman the ride, and uh, the line was about 25 minutes tops because they're still running one train. Oh, man. Operations have been iffy on Superman so far, but a week ago, they actually ran two trains, but, um, but I heard from my friend Justin, they uh, had to go back to one train because I think there's a problem with the wheel or something. I'm giving my friend Justin a big shout out. He operates Superman. He's a great guy. All right, just got off my ride on Superman. I was in the back seat, uh, and uh, it was a great ride. I got great airtime on it. Um, what I hate about the restraints are the shin guards. The shin guards actually hurt my knees quite a bit, and I heard rumors they can even give people like bruises. So, yeah, Superman's restraints are very shitty, but that doesn't stop me from riding the steel coaster because I never get tired of Superman. It is my favorite steel coaster to this day so far. Great airtime. It is very long. It is a fantastic layout, excellent pacing, and all 2018 season, it's been hauling. After my ride in the morning, hauling. Great coaster. All right, I did a new credit today at the park. I did the Wild Wheels today in Kidsopolis. And um, I hate pushing on the gas because it, it was kind of complicated to hold the gas the whole time. I had to like stop in the between, but basically I was, I was abusing the ride. I was basically being a jerk on Wild Wheels because I was unpurposely tailgating my friend pretty much the whole ride, which was pretty hilarious in my opinion. About to do Harley Quinn's Insanity and always the line queue over there is always ridiculous for Zamperla. We are in Hall of Justice and I'm pleased to welcome back Joey. What's up? Nothing much. Good so man. we just did Catwoman's Whip and what did you think of Catwoman? Decent. It's it's actually an enjoyable ride in my opinion because I, this is one of the only family coasters I find enjoyable other than School Mountain at Great Adventure. And I have to say, Hall of Justice is a very good, uh, very good theme. It's like really good. It doesn't be uh, Justice League Bound from Metropolis theme though. That is nuts. Have you been on Justice League yet at Great Adventure? Yeah, I have. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Hi, Batman. Hi there, guys. How's it going? Where is the Joker? The Joker? He's actually in Arkham Asylum today. They've been, uh, Testing a new cell, it's been working out pretty well for a while. How sunburned do I look, by the way? Not that bad. Not that bad. Right it's, here it's very, it's very humid out today. It is. And I'm glad I'm not going to the water park because it's probably a mess there. That's fair. All right, I'm back for Superman now, and we did Catwoman two times actually now because we actually have flash pass for Superman today. And according to the regular line queue with only one train, it's like probably a 45 minute wait. But if they were running two trains, it probably wouldn't have been a big deal waiting in line. But yeah, I hope they bring back the, I hope they really fix the blue train soon because they were running two trains last week, but it went back to one train because I think there's a problem with the wheels. And Joey, you said it was like really rattly, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably why. I mean, it's probably the wheels. So I just got off Superman with Joey and he left to see his mom for a bit. I think he might be joining me later today. Uh, Superman is very good today. Um, this is this airtime hill right there is my favorite element on this coaster. Great ejector airtime in my opinion. I got really good rides in this ride today. Uh, missing the first tunnel and missing the shield. No missing the second tunnel right now, hopefully later. However, I don't know if there will be a later tonight because it's supposed to have a severe thunderstorm today. So right now the cloud's looking all right. It's not too bad right now, but it might be a thunderstorm later. So hopefully um, it won't be too bad and it'll just be regular rain and I can marathon Superman all I want. Here comes my front row ride. Alright, 
Alright, so Wicked Cyclone is pretty much a walk-on all day. Uh, now there's a tiny stairway in the front. Well, stairway to the station, but... Not... I'm not really counting that. It's still basically a walk-on. And... I really hope it's not going to be too bad of a rainstorm, so... But like we said, like they say here, you gotta brave the storm. Alright guys, I'm in about a 35 minute wait because the one train on Superman, uh, now the clouds I think are getting worse now, so we are most likely getting a thunderstorm in, in uh, Hampton County area, which is where Six Flags is. Uh, Hartford, Connecticut, according to my friend Justin, uh, he told me that he heard thunder in his area. So, he reported that there are thunder right now in Hartford, so we may very likely get a thunderstorm today, and I just felt a raindrop just now. Just made it to the station at Superman. I just encountered my friend Justin, who was at Kidsopolis today. He was operating uh, the wild wagons, or wacky wagons, whatever it's called, that used to be Big Red Car when it was Wiggles World. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, I just saw him at Superman. I think he just left to uh, go on a little break or something. But yeah, um, it was cool seeing him. Hopefully I can see him later. All right, so I am uh, sitting down on one of those pretty cool benches right now. They had it ever since Six Flags and they were open. Uh, clouds are not looking terrible now. Uh, it really, it literally just, um, stopped raining. I mean, well, it actually never rained at Six Flags Lane, but it did rain for a bit in, uh, Hartford, Connecticut. But, hopefully it doesn't get worse later for the rest of my day at Six Flags, but it may be heck when I have to drive home. Because it might be a very bad storm when I'm driving home. So, that's gonna be something. Somebody's back on my vlog again. How are you doing, Ryan? Doing good. Doing good. So, uh, what did you do before you went to Six Flags? I was out golfing over there, and now I ran over to come ride a little bit. Good day so far. Nice. Yep. It was supposed to thunderstorm like really severely around here, but it hasn't like even started yet. Yep. And yet, Superman is still. Well, we got in. We got in with the uh, skip the line pass. I dare you to go put the camera on the people. This is where everybody has to wait in line right now while Ryan and I got the skip the line pass because he's a membership. Yep. Hey Ryan, what kind of luck did we just have right here? Next person, people on, shut down for rain delay or whatever it is. Thunder. I'm going to show you guys what the sky looks like right now. So my friend Justin said that the thundercloud was right by the skyscraper. Yeah, but other areas is fine. I don't understand why we couldn't ride Superman. Really, come on. And it was and it was literally just our turn to be in the train. Awful. Yeah, that that sucked. That is bullcrap. Oh, this is so horrible weather, and Superman is closed due to inclement weather. Ridiculous. They even closed down Gotham City Gauntlet as well, and that's not even that high. <sighs> the next intense ride we are doing is the Take Six Cafe. Such an adrenaline rush of soda. So Ryan, what's the next attraction we're gonna do? Heading to the car and leaving. Well, that's his attraction. I'm <laughs> staying till 10 anyway, but I don't know. They might close Traffic. the park. I think, I, I mean, if it's going to be a thunderstorm all night, they might as well close the park now. I mean, look at all the people. They're leaving. Like, they're all leaving. It's... Yeah, that's not looking good over there. That's looking pretty bad. Yeah, that's... That's, that's just... looking like death. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say goodbye to Ryan yep. for today. Yeah. But but first, next time when I go to New time, England, first time I've been to a be six, first time I've been to a Six Flags and I didn't go on a ride. Oh, well, we went on the Rock and Rodeo crap. That yeah, hard. that that was terrible. By the way, I couldn't even sit down straight on it. It's not meant for fat people terrible. at all. It is not meant for fat people. That yep. the the Rock and Rodeo. Yeah, I thought I was able to fit on that thing. The restraint is terrible, and the seats are terrible. Yeah.
Uh oh. Well, now they have a good reason to close down the rides because it's a really gonna storm. It's pretty bad now, I think. This area is still okay, I think, but yeah. Oh well. I think I'm either gonna wait for Houdini or leave. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing yet. Look at the clouds now. Ooh, wow. This is gonna be hell driving home. Probably gonna be a bad storm. I think the park is closed because everybody is walking out. Um, I want to see how long Houdini is, but I think it's very likely I'm not going to ride it because everyone's leaving and it's... Look at that. Alright, I decided to wait in the long line for Houdini because I'm actually going to see if the storm is going to stop after, but I'm not going to jinx it. This might be my very last ride at the park today. Probably will be. Well, folks, this wasn't even a wait either. Just got right in. Probably ride it a couple times, maybe. What the? Superman's open? Let's go! All right, so we actually ended up doing one ride night ride on Superman, and um, as when we saw the lightning, it could have been a new feature to be electrocuted, so um, how does it feel to operate Superman, Justin? You know, it's a great feeling. We both love doing this. And it's a lot of fun, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's we like, like making people laugh and have fun. All right, bye, Adrian. Have a See good night. Have a good night. I'm proud to say I got to do one night ride on Superman. Was looking forward for the front row, but that not happened, but oh well. At least I got a night ride in the back, so. What a solid day. So, time to go home. All right, I'm back home from Six Flags and I made a pit stop at Chick-fil-A and 7-Eleven. I had to stop for gas too. Um, overall, it was a solid day. After my one night ride on Superman, they shut it down again because of the lightning, but it was really cool to see my friend Justin operate the ride. Um, we're really good pals. And it's great to see Ryan again. He's also a good guy. Uh, basically, I'm going to see him like every visit at Six Flags because he lives only like 10 minutes from the park. He lives in Longmeadow, which is like, he's lucky that Six Flags is like literally his backyard. So, basically, he has a really good steel coaster right in his backyard. I have to say, that's awesome. So, I'm going to edit right here. So, hopefully, I can go back to Six Flags New England sometime soon. If not, it may not be until Fright Fest, but uh, we'll see. I could probably do a couple more visits before then. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Please comment, subscribe below, and as always, peace out.